Hi all and uh, welcome back to this uh, small help video. Today we are going to talk about uh, battery and uh, charging. We all have uh, iPads and iPhones and we of course want the battery to last as long as possible. So here are some tips and tricks to uh, look at these. First, we are going to look at the hardware part. We have a cable here, a normal charging cable. We have a power plug that is going into the iPad. And of course, make sure there is no uh, cuts and uh, damages to any of uh, those two hardware parts. Uh, that can actually be an issue if you take these parts with you on a trip or something. It can actually happen that it will be broken, it can be cut, it can be whatever. So if you have issues and you think you have an issue with the, either the power plug or the cable, maybe you can borrow a cable or plug from a friend or a, somebody in your family and uh, try to see if that is working better. And maybe it's an issue with the hardware and you need to replace those hardware parts. So that's uh, that part. Then I have a toothbrush here. And uh, what I'm gonna use that for is to clean my cable entrance in the iPad and uh, make sure to do that once in a while. A lot of dirt, dirt and uh, dust can actually get into uh, this uh, thing and uh, that's uh, not what we are aiming for and that can often cause the issues that the, the iPad is not charging as you expected. So uh, make sure to have uh, the hardware part in, uh, in place so everything is working as you expect. The software part is to look at some of the services that is running on your iPad or iPhone. And the first one I'm gonna look at here is the location service. And you find that in settings on the privacy. You go into location service and you go down here and here you can see some of all the apps that is using the location service. And as you can see, some of them is set to always, while using and never. I would recommend to set them either to while using or to never, if that's the possibility. But always is not really an option in my world. So I would switch this one while using the app and go back. And I have another one down here. I know that one is actually using some of the data in the background and I will of course switch this to while using. So uh, make sure that your apps is not using the location service in the background without really using the app. So uh, make sure to have a look at this. So we have the system services as well. And that is uh, some of the uh, iPad uh, services that is uh, looking at different things here and uh, what I've been able to read up on is that uh, what you should have on is the emergency call and SOS and find my iPad. All the other ones you can actually switch off by this. Uh, now I turned the wrong one off and just go ahead and it actually gave me a warning. And down here we have the product improvement. Well. Apple is the ones who should know about their uh, product. Of course, they want to know some information, but uh, I would recommend you to switch those off. All right, that was the system services. Then we have the auto lock that uh, your iPad will go into sleep mode if you're not using it instead of just lying on your table while you're not using it. So you can go into display and uh, brightness go to auto lock and mine is set to never. I wouldn't recommend that. So I would set it to five minutes and go back. And that's it about that one. Then we have uh, something called analytics. Uh, down here under the privacy setting, we have analytics and improvements. And in here we have share iPad analytics. I don't recommend you to do that, so switch that one off. It will use some power in the background to make sure to lock different activities on your on your iPad. Uh, all right, that's an easy one. Go in, switch this, that one off. Then we have the motion thing. If you go into 
general and go into accessibility we have this motion thing and uh, up here we have reduce motion and that will make sure that the interface is uh, been a bit more effective in sense of battery time and uh, compute power so uh, i would also recommend you to have a look at that one and uh, turn that on and reduce the motions on your ipad and then we have the uh, discussion topic close apps if you have apps running i have a home button on my one and as you can see i have a lot of things open so uh, i would recommend close down all the apps you are not using it at the moment uh, i know some will say well this doesn't make any difference well i'm not sure about that uh, my recommendation is close all the apps you are not using once in a while all right then we have uh on the channel, we have the background app refresh. And in here, you can see the apps is refreshing by itself while not, you're not using it. And I would ask, actually recommend you to switch the ones you are not using that often to off. Uh, I don't use my whatever in here, HBO, no reason to refresh. Uh, whatever you can uh, think about you are not really using that often switch those uh, one off so it's not running in the background that's also a good way to make sure that the, your ipad is not doing a lot of work in the background without you knowing it all right and uh, we also have the widgets that's more or less related to this background thing you know on iPhones and iPads, we have this widget thing over here in the left hand side, and you can edit which uh, widgets is on your. And uh, these are, of course, checking in the background, so you can go into edit, and in here you can uh, make sure to, uh, for example, screen time. I don't use that, so you can uh, push that. Uh, red button and you get the remove action and you can press remove and that one is gone. So I click done and my screen time is not longer shown in the widget. So uh, make sure only to have the widgets that you are using often to uh, run in the background and update a lot of different things. All right. Then we have a reboot of the iPad. I would recommend you to either reboot your iPad once or twice uh, a week. And uh, you all know how to do that, of course. But just hold the power button, slide to uh, to right and uh, power off. And it will, of course, close down and uh, again, power it on. And you have a fresh memory in your iPad. and. Uh, that will actually make sure to save you some time. All right, the last part I have for you today is uh, to have a look uh, at the, how you handle your iPad. Do you take your uh, iPad into your car while it's summer? It will be a lot of heat going around your iPad in a hot uh, summer day in your car. So make sure that your iPad is not overheating. That can actually damage your battery and that is not a good thing for the battery in the battery lifetime. So uh, make sure not to overheat your iPad too often. And the last thing I have for you today is you can of course go into battery in your settings and uh, you can see how it's charging and how it's doing things, but you can also see which apps are actually using the most battery on your iPad. And that can give you an idea about Okay, this uh, app, I don't use, use it that often. Why is it using my battery that much? Maybe it can be the background thing or the widget or the services running in the background on your iPad. So uh, have a look at this. And if you are looking uh, to this video and uh, it's looking for an iPhone thing, in your iPhone, you actually have an extra section under your battery uh, settings here that is called battery health. And in there, you can actually see the health of your battery and uh, have a look at that if you are having issues with your battery. All right, that was all for me today. I hope you uh, had some tricks with you so you can have a look at your own 
issues with the battery life. Uh, I talk to you soon. Bye.